Hey guys, how's it going today, Brofist? Welcome. Uh, today I've decided to talk a little bit about the Burning Crusade zones and what you can get from the bur uh, farming, farming Burning Crusade uh, mobs, basically. And while doing that, I'm gonna actually farm a bit of Karazhan because I, I found that uh, one of the biggest mob density is in Karazhan. It's pretty easy to do. The only limitation that we're gonna have is like 10 uh, runs uh, per hour, but you know, after that you can do whatever you want. So, instead of guide, I will just call this uh, a guide question kind of video, because I wanted to ask you, what uh, is your luck in Karazhan? Like, uh, if you run and do what I am doing here, tell me what you're gonna get. Usually, like, uh, uh, the Burning Crusade mobs are not dropping really, really high uh, value items. Like, you cannot really get like 2,000, 5,000 gold every now and then. You can get some really cool churn smog, but you know, most of those are not really that expensive. So, this is how I do uh, uh, Karazhan. Just make sure when you're uh, on this room, you see that's Moroes, the boss. Make sure to not pull that guy, because if you pull that guy and kill it, you know, this Karazhan run will be pretty much uh, not farmable anywhere for you. Uh, so, this is how I do Kar Karazhan. I wanted to ask you, like, how is your luck? Like, what, what you've... Uh, Anyone had any luck with uh, any recipe because I know that like fell still long blade fell still You know those kind of blacksmithing recipes and tailoring recipes that are like from 50,000 to 60,000 gold on auction house on my server currently uh, I don't know if anyone go got them in uh, burning crusade farming mobs But if you would like to farm that I guess Karazhan will be a good choice for that because look how many mobs you're killing you know and this uh I tried, wow, I forgot to uh, start this. So I tried uh, one run, it took me like three minutes uh, before I started recording. I just wanted to see how much time it will take for me. And I didn't have luck, of course, with mo uh, with uh, items. I got like 600 golden looted item value. But hopefully some of you guys will have a better luck, you know, because uh, so far I got one fell still long late recipe out of this place, uh, you know, since I started farming at like level 70, I, I, no, level 80, I think I was. Uh, with my protection uh, part in, I was pretty, uh, it was pretty challenging to farm back then, uh, now it's pretty easy, so I guess that everyone will be able to do this. However, I'm going straight for this room, but if you want to, there is an alternative way up here, uh, there is also like two rooms, since you are limited to 10 runs, and those 10 runs will be pretty fast, like in te uh, 30 minutes you can do those. Uh, you can even increase your, um, let's just show you. You can even increase your farming potential by killing some mobs here, you know, there, there, is, uh, there are lots of mobs here in the rooms to the left. Uh, I'm, I'm pulling, by the way, with Sooth. Uh, I'm using Druid here because these mobs are slowing me much, and when I ship, shapeshift from cat to human and back to, uh, back to cat, I don't really feel the slow that much, because I can get out of slows, right? So that's why I'm using Druid, but you can use whatever you want, you know, it doesn't necessarily need to be Druid or any other specific class, there is also a boss here, so don't pull it. Uh, after I pull these two rooms over here, I'm gonna go straight up for this room that I said in the beginning, and... And uh, this is where the run finishes, and after that you just jump over the fence, I will show you that as well. Uh, so far, as I said, I've got Felsteel Longblade, Blade of Wizardry, which is approximately 100,000 together uh, in gold on my server. But I don't feel like everyone that will go into this dungeon will get such, uh, such, you know, uh, high value of items. Uh, but yeah, you just let me know in the comments below what you've got and, and how much luck you got and stuff. Because I find this place pretty interesting to farm because of lots of lots of lots of mobs here. I mean, you can kill them. Uh, look how many mobs we have. Wow, nature locked. Are you serious? Just gonna go and swipe you all. Okay, look how many mobs we got, like, this is crazy, I'm gonna take a screenshot of this, maybe use it as a thumbnail. Uh, yeah, let's see if I get anything cool, I got something, 400 gold, I got pss, nothing really much more than that, but... Uh, I think you're getting also here, like, those, uh, not soul essences, but those Marks of Sargeras, no, alright. Uh, well, just let me know what how are you, uh, your results from running like 10 runs uh, here and I, I'm really sure that uh, some of you guys will be really lucky to get some item that will, will like 50,000 or 100,000. I am not writing intentionally uh, how much gold or something you can get uh, like uh, 50,000 or 10, 100,000 or like 10,000 or something per hour because I have no clue how much you can actually get in this place. You see, I just jumped over the fence and you go outside, reset. 
Uh, you can also go for this place. I mean, this is where I actually got the Blade of Wizardry. Uh, but I, I don't want to go because there's like si six uh, horses and there's like four other mobs. And they're stunning you constantly. It's kind of annoying for me, so I don't really kill those. But if you want to go there and kill them, go ahead. So yeah, that's all I've, uh, I, I want to say for this video, guys. It's pretty cool. Uh, I'm, I'm farming this constantly. Uh, so far, I didn't got much, but I'm... Pretty sure I got quite a lot of gold from uh, all the other random items. The green items that I'm getting from here, I am uh, disenchanting. The the other things I'm vendoring, so it's pretty nice uh, raw gold as well. You know, it's like uh, how much? Like 400 raw gold or something every five or six rounds. I think you got. I, I don't know. There was a calculation in some of my notepads, but I cannot really find the notepad. But you just let me know how. Like, what's your results in the comments? I would really like to read about that and make like. Uh, uh, a bit more extensive guide about this place and other uh, other the Burning Crusade places. I've searched through a couple other places to Burning Crusade, uh, but the density in Karazhan is really, really high of mobs. The only limitation, as I said, is the reset, but uh, I don't think that will stop because it's like 30-40 minutes for 10 runs, so 20 minutes you can farm whatever, you just go burning, uh, you know, Blade of, like, Bastion of Twilight or something. That's how much you need for 10 runs, so you can just combine, you know. But yeah, anyway, let me know uh, in the comments below what you think about this place, how are your results, uh, like the video if you think it deserves a like, and uh, of course, subscribe until next time, guys, I've been Umrin, uh, love you much, no homo, listen to your parents, be good boys, and brofis. Thank you guys for watching, and Umrin off.